So it's finally happened. I am finally reading Throne of Glass for the very first time ever. I don't know why it's taken me so long to read it. Um, not gonna lie, it's taken me multiple different times of trying to start it before I've actually managed to stick with it. You can see like that's about how much I usually get through. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know whether it's because it feels very intimidating because of the size of the series or I don't know whether it's because my brain thinks I'm cheating on Akatar if I read this. I don't know, it makes no sense. But we have finally started it yesterday and I got my makeup done because I was filming other videos. So I thought I would come on and give you guys a bit of an update. Um, I will vlog the rest of it as I read it. And in theory, fingers crossed, I should be vlogging and doing the reviews of the rest of the series as I go along, doing little, like little reading vlogs. Just to say, this book has been out for what I think is like 10 years now or coming up to 10 years. So this reading vlog is going to be full of spoilers. So if you don't want to see the spoilers, please click out of the video and come back once you've read it because that's what I've had to do for years now. I have many questions. I know of some of the characters just because of being on like BookTok and BookTube and Bookstagram and all that stuff. I know a bunch of the characters already. I probably know spoilers through fan art that I've seen, but because I don't know the characters, they haven't quite clicked into place yet. So yeah, so we start with Selena. I'm probably pronouncing all the names incorrectly. That's okay, because I'm very worried that if I look up how to pronounce the names correctly, I'll end up with spoilers. And I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. And um, even though my brain keeps trying to link the information that I've already got to the things that are happening in this book. And so far, it's not really clicking. So we've got the assassin girl who is Selena, Selena. We're going to go with Selena. I'm going to pronounce them all incorrectly. I don't care. So Selena, I'm confused. I thought the main girl in this was Aileen. Is that not that person? Or is Selena Aileen? Or is Selena because there was a bit where someone called her I think a witch and I know there's like a weird witchy girl in it is it Manon I want to say it's Manon or is she Manon or is she Aileen or is she just Selena and I'm trying to make connections where there isn't any. Also, we have Cole. That's probably not how you pronounce his name either, but I'm going with Cole as in Cole from Charmed. So we've got Cole and Dorian. Um, I kind of like Cole. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like Cole. I know that like, I think Dorian fancies her, but I don't know, there's this whole like thing with her and Cole and I really like it and um, I think he has a soft spot for it and it's adorable. Uh, yeah, so I'm currently about a third of the way through. She's done one of the tests so far to become the champion. She's got the second one coming up tomorrow so that's where I'm at, I'm at chapter 19 but other than that it's going well I like it I'm interested to see where it's gonna go as always I end up being more interested in the romance aspect of it rather than anything else but so far I like it I'm assuming that she's fey is she like a fey princess am I trying to make things happen that just shouldn't be happening is that what's going on? I'm, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll keep you guys updated as I read it. And like I said, I will be doing more reading vlogs for the rest of the books. So if you are interested, hit the subscribe button down below. Try and not put spoilers in the comments because I don't want to know. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I know that people have said that this series is going to like emotionally like fuck me up. It's gonna like absolutely emotionally destroy me. I guess we'll find out. I do need to read them all and make sure I've got them all in this cover because Sarah J Maas has just announced new covers for them and I don't like them so I would like to keep this cover art. Hello, so I thought I would just do a quick check-in on where I'm at with Throne of Glass. I'm enjoying it so far as you can see. I've only got like 
that much left so like less than a third I would say probably of it left and um, I'm really enjoying it so far. I did a TikTok about being very confused about a character pronunciations and B who Selena or Selena I still don't know how to pronounce that one and um, let's go with Selena because I feel like it's Selena um, who she is and like without people giving me spoilers they were like oh it'll all become clear in book three I'm sorry I have to read until book three to understand what the heck is going on like that's insane like that's absolutely insane but we're just gonna keep going so pretty sure that Selena isn't Aileen not Aileen um pretty sure they're not the same person still not sure whether Selena is Minon or not or whether that's a separate character as well I thought I was gonna be team Cole it's not Cole it's Kale apparently someone said it was Kale like the vegetable and I just think I don't like that I don't like Kale but we're gonna be calling him Kale until someone can tell me how to actually pronounce his name so I thought I was gonna be very much team Kale from the beginning but Dorian has absolutely like won my heart. I'm 100% team Dorian at the minute. So I've just gotten to the end of the chapter where they kiss. I'm really hoping people that haven't read it have long gone because spoilers all around. So they've just kissed and it's like super exciting. I'm really annoyed by Kale because I'm like, you quite clearly like her and he's just being like, oh, woe is me. I'll never be as good as the prince. And it's just like, oh, it's just really annoying me for some reason but other than that I'm enjoying it. I wish that it didn't skip over such huge chunks of time and I know that they need to do that just to keep like the story moving along but I feel like every time I'm reading a new bit she's like oh yeah two more trials have passed or like three more trials have passed and I'm like I would really like to know about the trials and read about the trials instead of I think we've seen what like two or three of the trials and then the rest it's just been mentioned in passing like yes we get it she's very good at what she does but I would still like to read it and I feel like the murders as well like they only mentioned like a handful of the murders and I feel like every time I read a new chapter she's like oh yeah three more people have been murdered and it's just like it's just getting glossed over very much is what it feels like so I sort of wish that was a bit different I don't really know how this is going to resolve itself because I feel like there isn't there's maybe about like a hundred pages a little less than a hundred pages left so I'm curious to see what's going to happen because I know Akatar, the last hundred pages of like the first book is like where everything was happening. So I'm curious to see whether that's the same in this one or not. And my current theory is that A, Selena is definitely Fae or descendant of Fae or some part Fae um, because otherwise why would the Queen be like talking to her? Um, and my second theory which might be a crack theory I don't I, I don't know is that oh what's her name Caltaine I think it's Caltaine we're gonna go with Caltaine that she is somehow the monster that is murdering people because I feel like her headaches seem to be very convenient yeah either that or I feel like someone is somehow using um, the Duke, is it Perrington? I can't remember his name, and Kane because those rings that keep getting mentioned I feel like they definitely have some sort of like weird dark power so like someone's using those to control someone or something along those lines. No idea how correct I am but I will probably finish this maybe not tonight but but definitely by tomorrow I should have it finished and I really need to buy the other ones obviously because I'm probably gonna like rattle through them quite quickly. So I'm gonna sit and read this for a little bit. I've got my dinner, my boyfriend isn't home, so that means I can't be asked to cook. So for dinner, we are having strawberries, banana, and Alpro chocolate pudding. I'm the picture of health, what can I say? So yeah, let's do some reading.
so I finished Throne of Glass, finally. I actually finished it a little while ago, but I've been putting off doing the wrap up or telling you guys about it because I've been so busy with rehearsals and with work and I've been putting off reading the second book until I managed to film this. So finally filming this so I'm finally able to start reading the second one. First of all, sorry I look like this. It is entirely too hot for makeup or anything and I'm just sweating constantly because it's so hot so sorry about that if you can see it. Um, the last hundred pages or so were about as expected and um, it's where all the action was. I do wish it hadn't been Kane who was like the baddie sort of thing. Um, I think it would have been a bit more interesting if it was Caltaine. I love that Nehemia was like the badass that she was and she was like in on the magic and that she was pretending not to speak the language to get information. It's just like, I love her so much. She's brilliant. And um, when she was getting mad at Selena for rubbing out the marks under her bed, that was just perfection. I am also moving very firmly onto team, I don't want to call him Kale and I've been told that that's how you pronounce it and I don't want to do that. I don't want to call him Kale, therefore I will be calling him Cole. I might change my mind later but it's gonna be Cole. So I'm very much on team Cole because he's just, oh, there's something about him and Dorian's now annoying me. So I'm very happy about that breakup situation and like the king's assassin and like the commander of the king's guard just has such like a better ring to it. I'm very excited about that. I do firmly stand in my theory that she is definitely a descendant of Faye um, and that's why she was able to see all the weird things and all of that stuff and that's why the queen is coming to her. I think she might be a direct descendant of the queen is what my theory is, which like, does that mean she's got royal bloodline? Is where my head's currently at. As much as everyone on TikTok has told me to stop trying to put the characters and spoilers that are in my head already and try and match them up with what I think is happening, I can't help that. Um, I'm still not convinced that she isn't Aelin. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but then people said that that isn't the case and to keep reading till like book three, so not sure what's happening. Um, I ended up giving this book a four, 4.5 out of five stars. Um, I really did enjoy it. I just really wish that there had been more action like earlier on in the book um, and the fact that we brushed over so many of like the trials that they had to do and so many of the murders they just got completely like brushed over so yeah but I'm definitely obviously going to read like the rest of the series already got book two so I need to get the rest of them in this cover because I am not dealing with the new covers. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Without giving me spoilers in the comments, let me know how close any of my little theories are at the minute. I don't want spoilers. I can't say this enough. Do not spoil it for me, please. But how close am I? They might be contradictory questions, but that's where I'm at. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I will be vlogging and doing a better job of vlogging the rest of the books when I'm less busy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.